hello, <laughs> we're dash, <laughs> we're in a girl band. <laughs> hello. You know, do you think that this would have happened um, had lockdown not been a, been a thing, you know? No, absolutely no. I just feel like all three of us um, were really busy in life. Mm -hmm. um, we all had, you know, well, we all still do, but, you know, we've had breaks from really busy, full-on work, you know, family life, um, and you just didn't really have any time to think about actually what would I really like to be doing right now what makes me happy you know having a bit of time for yourself and actually doing something for yourself rather than just kind of firefighting your life you know mm -hmm. trying to you know get home from work and straight into kids and homework and you know um to actually have that pause on life I think it's just been amazing as much as you know it's obviously not been for a good reason um mm -hmm. but to have that time for us to actually think about you know doing something that we're all so passionate about um, and singing together every other day and just like having some really positive time. It just wouldn't have happened. How could we have, you know, fitted it in before? Mm -hmm. But now I don't think we'll ever not fit it in. Like we've mm -hmm. got a better perspective on a work-life balance and I think we'll always make room for our projects now. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about you, Emma? Yeah, absolutely. Just to kind of reiterate just what made on thread, you know, um, I personally, you know, don't think that Dash would have evolved if, you know, the pandemic wasn't here and we, you know, we were in lockdown as such. Um, and I think she just kind of hit the nail on the head and we have really just taken a step back from life and we've slowed it down and thought, well, you know what, you know, there's probably a lot of times um, that we just, you know, it's a bit like Groundhog Day, so we get up, we go to work, we come home, we do the housework, we've got the kids, we've got family, um, which obviously is amazing. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's it, it's just giving you, or it's given us that opportunity to take a step back and think, you know what, it would be really lovely just to, do something that we're passionate about you know and um, obviously singing and um, we have made an amazing friendship between the three of us um, and also because we're so passionate about helping and raising awareness for, for mental health um, which is something that's very close to my heart as well and um, so it's just yeah I mean obviously I don't think it would have happened out with what time, but I'm very thankful that it has and this is what has, you know, because it's something very, very positive to come out of such a negative sort of situation. So. Mm -hmm. Emma, mm -hmm. do you think the moon and stars just aligned for us? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 yeah that is that has to be the most rock star thing i've ever done in my whole life is get <laughs> this like unplanned um just getting matching tattoos i've never had i've got, I've got a whole sleeve and i've never uh, i've never done anything like this before <laughs> it was always that question wasn't it so is this tattoo worthy i think so <laughs> 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 yeah that it was just just wild and like on that on that day when anyone um was released you know we no one knew that this is what we were doing it was all just a like uh, a bit of a surprise you know and on purpose because um we wanted to make it really special for for Mikey's line um but certainly on that day when it went live and we were getting matching, matching tattoos, uh, like a, a key thing in my mind was like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> what? Like, this, is, this is crazy. <laughs> and like, I've never had a matching tattoo before. And like, we've just released a single and I've essentially like just you know put my put myself out there singing all these crazy notes that um like I'm not sure I've ever hit before in my whole life and just you, you just you're leaving yourself so vulnerable for other people's opinions to start 
eating away at any joy. Um, so I think from that moment, um, I certainly had to really work on, it doesn't matter what other people think, you know, I like, I, I can't be people pleasing for the rest of my life, you know, or else I'm never going to actually do any of the things that I want to do. Um, but it, that's tough, it's super mm-hmm. tough um, and a super hard lesson uh, to learn, you know, and especially when, you know, the, the three of us have a, uh, have voluminous voices to say the, to say the least. Um, and that's not every person's cup of tea. <laughs> um, you know, it certainly don't sing soft and, and, and pretty, you know, it's all, it's all very kind of, wow, that's a, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> and I think the three of us are, are pretty intense as a, as a collective, um, and that's not everyone's cup of tea either. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely a hard one to come to terms with. But I think that, wow, what a valuable lesson. What a valuable experience, you know. Because um, look, at, look at what we've managed to achieve. Like we've managed to um, release a single for a mental health charity. That's absolutely, a, that's, yeah, amazing. Um, and proper bucket list goal <laughs> right there. Um, and then we went and filmed a video, <laughs> like a proper, a proper music video. <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? <laughs> Mental. And we're going to do it again. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> it is. And I Crazy. Think, 